Do you feel off balance when playing your double pedals? If you have a hard time balancing behind your drum kit and on your pedals, you'll know how important it is to have proper balance behind the drum set. Effectively playing your double pedals requires you to be able to control either of your feet. And trying to do so is gonna offset your center of gravity and it's gonna affect your balance behind the drums. So in this video, I wanna give you a few different balance exercises off of the drums and on the drums as well so that you can develop better balance on your pedals. If you need a little extra guidance with your double bass drumming and you want to improve, I'd like for you to have this free mini course. It's gonna help you develop better control on your pedals so you can feel more confident behind your drums. Get instant access by clicking the link down in the description of this video. Let's kick this off, no pun intended, with an exercise that you can do on any seat. I do, however, recommend you do it on your own drum throne. Here's what I want you to do. I want you to sit on your drum throne with proper posture, and that means back straight up, chest out slightly, but not too much. And I want you to lift each leg individually. And what's really important here is that you're sitting at your throne like you would at your double pedals. The first thing you wanna do is to keep one foot planted on the ground and then slowly lift the other leg up. You'll notice that there's gonna be tension, right? Your body wants to kind of shift the other way to counteract for the balance. So you can do the same thing with the other side of the body and you'll notice it does the opposite. This side of the body kind of gets longer, this gets shorter, and then switch it again. This side of the body gets longer, and I'm trying to exaggerate it a little bit here so you can understand. What this helps us accomplish is to understand where our body movement lies. So if we lift up our foot or we lose balance a certain way behind the drums, we can think to ourselves, okay, if I'm falling back a little bit or I'm moving to a certain side, say my right side, it's because my left leg is going out of balance. Now, this second one is also off of the drum set and it is from Derek Roddy's book called The Evolution of Blast Beats. If you haven't picked that book up, I do highly suggest it. Keep seated on your throne for this exercise and what you're gonna wanna do is kinda put your feet together and the idea here is to kind of lift your feet off the ground three to four inches. So the first thing you want to do is take your ankle and place it slightly behind your knee like this, right? That's a little exaggerated. But the idea here is to, without leaning back like this, kind of engage our core. It's almost like planking on a throne. And it's rather difficult. We really need to focus on that lower back strength and core strength. When we're playing on our double pedals, we kind of want to flex those muscles in our legs to keep our feet kind of floating, right? We want our ankles to do all the work, so we need to take the tension off of them. And we do that by lifting our legs up. Let's move over to the drum kit, and I want to give you one quick exercise you can do the next time you sit down at your drums to help you improve your balance on your double bass pedals. So this exercise is gonna help you not only with your balance, but your coordination and your control. It'll give you some really good results when you wanna build speed. So the first thing you wanna do is to play eighth notes with your right hand. So one and two and, you can do that on the hi-hats or on the ride cymbal. Now your left hand is gonna be playing on the snare and just holding a simple backbeat on beats two and four. So one and two and, okay, you get the idea. The feet are gonna be playing one E and a with the right foot and then going to the left foot and to playing two E and a. So it's gonna be one E and a two, and you're gonna keep that going. Here it is in the video and with notations so you can try it out for yourself. 